Hey guys, so today we're going to be looking at Wayfair here coming into earnings. And about a week or two ago, I made a video about Wayfair. And what I said was, if you want to make money on this stock before earnings, wait until it pulls back to around the $120 price range, the $115. And that's exactly what it did here in the last week. It pulled down all the way to around $120. And this chart doesn't show what happened in one day. It only shows where it closed that day. But it did fall all the way to around the 117 116 range. And what this means is that if you bought in at that price, you're laughing it to the bank right now. You've made over $15 to $20 on the stock, and you're, you're set in a good position to make money off the earnings move. And as you can see here, they've actually hit on their earnings estimate or above it in the last few quarters. And quarter one of 2020, they're expected to make negative revenue per share, negative $2.60. And honestly, I'd say that this probably most likely is not going to happen. Wayfair is a stock that can move up during the coronavirus because of the fact that all of its business is online. Now, like Amazon is a business that controls a lot of other companies. And anytime they see a new market to jump in, they jump in on it. However, they can't really touch the market with Wayfair because Wayfair specializes in moving these furniture sized products that are just larger than what Amazon wants to deal with. So that's why I think Wayfair has its own little market segment set up and they have a really strong opportunity to keep growing into the future. Now, if we just look at some of the stuff here that they're saying on Earnings Whisper, which is a really strong site to look at for earnings and other type of earning information, we can see that the earnings estimates are green right now and they're probably above what's going to be expected of the market. Like I said, negative $2.60 per share is, is probably a really bad price for any stock to be earning. And Wayfair has been growing way too rapidly, and with the results of the coronavirus, it's just impossible that people are not moving to online sales more than in person. Other stores like rooms to go and those showroom type stores are most likely losing money at the moment because they have to be closed during the coronavirus. However, a stock like Wayfair can stay open and keep producing revenue and earnings during this time. Now, if you see here on Earnings Whisper, they're expecting about 52% quarterly earnings above what the earnings estimate is saying and 20% above the quarterly revenue that the estimate is saying. And these are two very strong uh, factors that can basically tell you how good a stock is doing at the moment. If it's 50% above what they're expecting, this is a really, really, really strong number. And I feel that as a result, we're going to be seeing Wayfair push up more and more here into the future. And I would expect them to be sitting around the $170 price range by the end all this Corona stuff is over and the market reopens completely because a lot of people are going to want to be doing home renovations and a lot of stuff that they couldn't do during the time of the coronavirus. And if they're simply used to buying them online already, a lot of other stuff like grocery shopping or... Um, or Uber and stuff like that, all these online companies are doing much better as a result of the coronavirus. And I feel like Wayfair will follow that same trend. If we see here in the last three months, they've already recovered to above their pre-coronavirus level of around $110, and they're sitting at $135. So what would my, what would my recommendation be for going into the future for Wayfair? Especially for tomorrow for the earnings, I would say, Wait until we see what happens with earnings. Now, I predict earnings are going to be stronger than the estimates. However, my word is not set in stone and I don't have a crystal ball to know. So this is my prediction is that if Wayfair's earnings are on target, they're going to pull back a little to around the $112, $115 range. Like I said, this earnings run up has been insane and a lot of people are expecting them to do really well during these earnings. So if they hit on target, then most likely the market has already priced in the move that Wayfair is going to make as a result of these on target earnings. However, if they hit above the earnings target, and especially, like I said, by 50% above or 20% above their quarterly revenue, which are very, very high numbers, then I feel that Wayfair can run all the way to the $150 level in about the next two weeks to a month. But don't, but don't buy in at a very expensive price. Wait until the market pulls back a little and then make your purchase. For example, if I like I said, if it hits on the earnings like estimate, if it's right on the estimate, then this stock is going to pull back a little, then buy in. If it hits above, 
then try to buy right at market opening if you can. But if you cannot, then wait until it hits the 150 level of what the market expects it to hit for these earnings. And then wait for a pullback again to around the 130 level and then buy in because at that point you'll be guaranteed to make a profit. Whereas if you go in while the market's hot, you're more likely to lose money. And that's what a lot of people don't understand about these type of companies. They have a strong move here in one week or two weeks, but then after that, they're able to pull back and people are able to make their returns much more returns when they when they wait for the pullback and then buy after the pullback than if you simply buy in on this huge green candle. And in the last day or so, as a result of the earnings run up, and you can see that people are really bullish on this stock, it has went over up over $12 in a single day, which shows that this stock has a lot of price strength and there are a lot of investors looking at it, which is very important if you want to secure volatility in your stock. Because if there's nobody buying in on your stock, most likely the price is not going to move. However, with so many millions of people buying into this stock every single day, you can see that they have an average daily volume of $5 million. So yeah, that's a lot of people looking at a stock at one moment moment and buying in and selling out at the same time. And this guarantees that the stock is very liquid and can move $12 in one day if it wants to. So exactly, my recommendation is to pull back, wait till a pullback, or simply wait till the stock is overvalued and then buy in again and wait to see what happens with earnings. And even though I predict they're going to be strong and earnings whisper says they're going to be strong, we can still wait and see and maybe be surprised by what's happening in this market. A lot of people don't have money at the time. And I personally did buy some Wayfair products over this break and I bought a couch and a TV. But who knows, a lot of people might be holding their money and waiting till after the, after the stock market crash and after the coronavirus crash. So we'll just have to wait and see. So good luck, guys, and just hold your money on this one. Don't buy in when it's hot, and good luck investing.